Hello there, everybody. It's me. It's brother Crims. Um, it's Friday, though. It's our economics day. I did just wake up and I did just log on. Sue me. You know the routine if you watched me for even a little bit. Uh, still pretty much taking a full break from this game. I haven't played too, too much. Aside from doing our Ivory Tower every week. Uh, and logging on every day. Just to log on, I guess. But I haven't really played uh, in any meaning capacity in a very long time. Uh, everything's rested up. I should probably run my stuff just to get it unrested. But you know how it is. It's our economic state. Blue crystals. Where are we at with blue crystals? Blue crystals are 3759 or 3900 flat, depending on which section you use. I would always use this one because... This the one that buyers but uh i think prices have went up a little bit it makes sense because anniversary stuff people want blue crystals to buy stuff that's just kind of how it works right uh anywho uh this is the our economics version where we are in the second anniversary for the first uh the first episode i suppose the first episode of being in the anniversary and the main thing that the anniversary brings is the golden froggy frog but Golden Frog seems kind of not great uh, comparatively to how it was last time around since it's a roster limit on everything in here. Um, rather than a character bound limit. So who knows how much this will actually impact prices. Let's take a look and see what's happening though price-wise. Um, I fully expect, yeah, I was going to say I fully expect Prima Rehaz to have went up just because this is sort of the cycle it does every single week. On reset, it goes <clears throat> it goes up because more people are getting new gear to hone. Um, also, like, I think people just, like, sell most of their excess towards the end of the week. And then there's so few people selling that it just goes up because the influx of people who want uh, Arejas go up significantly. But... Hopefully you know what I mean by that. Um, as far as everything else goes, I mean, let's let's here, let's let's deconstruct this. Let's go check out fish first. Fish are still at like seventy gold. They're going down a little bit, I guess. Sixty six. They're being pushed down a wee little bit. Uh, that is something. Harp going down a little bit as well. Nothing too, too crazy there, though. Uh, refined Obliteration Stones went up a little bit, surprisingly. Or why? Yeah, because they were, like, low 40s, and now they're high... Or, uh, they were low 40s, now they're low 50s. Interesting. Interdisting. Uh, and then... I guess let's talk about Radiant Leaps. Radiant Leaps haven't really went up or down. They went down uh, immediately following the Golden Frog, as you can see. They dropped to 130, but then they've kind of went back up. And I think the reason for that is entirely because there's a weekly roster limit on this shit. Um, and maybe people didn't quite realize that at first. But you're only going to be able to buy these chests on one character. And... It's not that many leap stones, if we're being honest with each other. It's just not that many leap stones. Um, but I think that's why people initially were like, oh shit, frog, panic, sell, and then they realized it's not actually that bad. So that's why it went back up, maybe, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't fucking know, dude. I'm just some fat white guy on the internet who makes fucking Lost Ark and Maple Story and Pal World videos, dude. I don't know. Clear <laughs> essences of wisdom, the purple ones. They're pretty much what you'd expect. 30 to 35 gold. I think this is where these guys will stay forever and ever. Ever. As far as the legendary ones, they also haven't went down. They spiked up on reset day for some reason, which is weird to me. Maybe it's because there was like a giant influx of people buying a bunch of fragments on reset day specifically to craft their 10 elixirs immediately. But typically you see the price of these go up 
further into the week you get. Because obviously most people try to run their shit on reset or as close to reset as possible. So the price of the stuff goes down as the week goes on. Interesting. Interesting. I don't know. That's all I have to say is interesting, truthfully. Uh, another thing I did want to look at is the price of the other trade skill mats. Haven't looked at thick meat in a while. So it's just chilling at 80 gold. What about flowers? Or flowers do. Dang, flowers are pretty expensive too. Interesting. Uh, what about timber? Timber is probably worthless. Timber is doing better than I thought it would be. What about ore? Oh, fuck me. Iron ore. Yeah, iron ore is still pretty worthless. Hmm, interesting. I wonder. Hmm. As far as prices go, I think... I think it's likely we could see an increase in prices. Um, across the board, over time, since the Golden Frog is here... It's not the greatest gold sink right now, again, because of the weekly roster limit, but it's still a gold sink, and it lasts for 40 days, as you can see. Uh, or 39 days and some change as of me recording this. But it will still help remove some amount of gold from the economy, and that's, like, the goal with it, right? But let me see. Let me check engravings. I haven't looked at engravings in a minute, either. Full Moon Harvester, Night Edge, Raid Captain is up there for some reason. Grudge is chilling. Keen Blunt. Yeah, there's not very many books that are like above 3k anymore. So crazy to me. Huh. That is fucking wild to me. Um. As always, though, the last things I don't want to do, I don't think I did it last week, was look at Sidereal Energy. I always for gore. What Sidereal Energy looks like is 1.4 mil right now. Sounds about standard. Standard procedure. Senor. We do this. We type in level 10. Uh, we also click tier 3. And then we see 209.5, so like 210k. There's a couple for 210, and then it goes up to 220 for a cooldown gem. Uh, and then level 10 damage is 425, 428, 429, 430, 435, 435, 440. There's not too many gems up right now, and they're very spaced out in price, so it's interesting to see. Hmm. But anyways, I think that'll be it for this week's Arconomics. Thank you guys so much for watching, as always, and thank you to all my YouTube members, my Tier 2s. You guys are the best. Consider supporting the channel. Want a little bit extra. It helps me out, personally, straight up. Uh, my Tier 2s, Blitz, I'll remix my life. I'm Nufu, Erizek, Jacob, Clouded, and all my Tier 1s, It's Biscuits, Ender, Diz, and Arturus. I'm Audi. Bye!